Hello YouTube, this is Jesse from STEM APKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to continue where we left off. In the last tutorial, as you remember, we got the app running, the pre-built on the Android physical device, which is this one right here, and on the iOS emulator. In this tutorial, we're going to start making some changes. And what I'm going to be doing is, let's get this one out of the way for now. And what we're going to do is, we're going to stop it, stop the server, and clear this. And what right now, what you have here is an Expo router uh, structure. That, that That's the one that we got from MPX Expo, right? Right now, we don't need that Expo router structure, and it's only going to complicate matters. Uh, it's going to confuse you, so I'm going to be changing it so that way you you can follow along because with the layout and the whole tabs, it can this can be very, very uh, you know confusing sometimes. So I'm going to take the easy way out and just change it. So basically what are we going to do, as you can see, get a fresh start. And then you run npm run reset project. That's what we're going to do. And it's going to create a, a, a folder app example. If you would want to save it, or if not, you can. It will just delete it. But in our case, we're just going to delete it. So let's just do npm. And I already forgot npm run reset project. npm run reset project and it's going to ask me do you want to move the existing files to app example directory or or instead of deleting them I'm just gonna delete them because if we need them we can add them later uh, you, all you need to do you can bring back expo router that's no problem but right now it's only gonna get in the way so now as you can see it got rid of all the tabs and all of this stuff. And if I now run MPX Expo pre-build again, is so far so good. If I run it on the Android, actually just do it iOS so like you can see it. And let's make sure that nothing broke. And I like to check, always check, because the, the worst thing that you want to do is get to a point and then every, nothing works. And now it's changing the whole thing again because it noticed that I made the changes. So I'm going to stop it for once. Oh, actually, it was quick. And now if I run, hit I... Oh, I didn't have to do it. It did it for me. And there it goes. You see how it changed the whole screen? Now, you don't see the the bottom tabs anymore. And it changed into, uh, you're starting from scratch. That's basically what we wanted to do. So what we're going to do now is create a different structure. Because right now, the structure that we have is this. This is the structure that we have right now, but we're going to create a, a, a folder, a directory to house this. So that's what we're going to do now. So we're going to create a directory called, uh, let's call it source. And then we're going to move that app. You see, we created the source directory there. So now we're going to move the app directory app directory into the source file that we just created and then it does it and you see it's gone and now if we look inside we see that is everything is inside okay so now we have an app json 
and we have our app directory so now let's see what is inside the index all of that stuff is going to be changing so this is this right now is what you see here this is what you see actually it changed because uh, the whole thing was changed but that's fine so what we're going to do is actually let's just uh, open it again on Android I want to see what it looks like on Android and then reload and now Android I just want to check as you can see it says what it's supposed to say and why does iOS oh now it's good okay we're good so this is what's happening on both iOS emulator and the physical device Android so we're good so now what we're going to do is make a, a couple changes we're going to go into the Android directory and we're going to go into the source main and the Android XML manifest file and we're going to make some changes so here we're going to copy and paste this one that says internet copy paste and instead of oops lost word there now instead of internet again we're going to say nfc that's a that will grant permissions for android to get into the nfc because you need access to the native modules and what else do i need to do here so we change that one and then the feature this one it, it will come handy you don't have to do this this is optional uh, unless if you really going to to publish it to the app store then it needs that because it needs that hardware it's optional but i'm going to do it anyway so you see it so you see it being done so you if you need to do it you'll know what to do and then let's do feature command b and then it looks green so that's a good sign save it then try again pre-build again always pre-build always make sure that nothing got broken nothing broke android run it yes and so far so good let me bring it in so you can see it reload and we're good so far so good it's good so now we made the permission changes for for android uh, if you're doing following along in the ios this is the part that you need to be making some changes to the x code uh, and uh, getting into the permissions for the apple store and that's exactly why i did not want to go there because this it can get really really hairy sometimes and i don't want to put you through that so that's why i'm doing it with the physical device on android so we continue so now what we need to do let me see we did that one we did that one we did the permissions and add it to the app json we haven't done this one so we're gonna add this to the app json and it's going to look like that after you're done so the android we go into oops wrong one app json which is this guy right there and then between these two curly braces right there we're going to put the permissions it's red because it's missing a comma and now we save it and again trust but verify 
npx pre-build pre and android run it again make sure that you didn't break anything make sure the permissions are good looks good no errors we're golden okay i can see it on the other screen so now we go to the next step so we go i have this cheat sheet now we already created a directory and now we're going to create that file it's called the app.js file i i'm sticking with javascript not to go into the typing for typescript there's a reason why i'm doing this because now you're dealing with the native modules and when you bring in typescript it can get some funky errors that i'm trying to avoid right now as i guide you along so now we get into our now i want to see the file oops wrong one i keep kidding this stuff let me quit this so cursor and let's uh, index tsx this is source it's a file and we're going to call it app.js and in this app.js this is as you can see it's not inside the app directory it's out it's in the source directory so don't put that in there or it's going to cause all kinds of problems there's a reason why this, these names have to be exact source app because source app index there's a reason that it follows the the routing system the filing system whatever you want to call it so it needs to follow that same name format don't change any names here because you're gonna have all, all kinds of problems and the app js is inside the source directory okay and just in case i'm going to do it again so you see it this is what you're supposed to look like this is what it's supposed to look like source directory up js part of the source directory inside the source directory then that folder okay we continue inside that app directory what we're going to do is create this file right here and it's going to be import react i'm being lazy and then copy and paste and so far so good it's green this is all i'm doing is hello world just for testing purposes it's a function app you've seen this a million times if you come from the react native world and this is the styling part right here so it's just going to be in the center with a flex justify content aligns items in the center so now i'm going to run this and save it run it and i should not happen anything should happen because i haven't changed the index file yet i just want to make sure that i didn't get any errors so so far so good now as you can see it didn't change anything because it hasn't changed anything yet because we haven't changed the index so now we're going to go into the index tsx which is this guy right here and now we're going to change this into this file Again, I'm going to be lazy and just copy and paste. That's why I'm using JavaScript because of this file right here. And then here, index. And it's going to complain because it's not that one.
Node.js. it because of JSON you set up yeah it's up one directory let's go it's not that one it's one more and I think it's that one right there and now it's good don't worry about that error there that's just I don't want to get deal with it right now. Command S, and now it's changing, and there you go. Hello world. And this is the Android part. And so now if I do the Android, now let's do, stop it right now, and actually let's try to see if it just does it using I for the simulator. Hopefully it works for both. And now it's not doing much. Well, let's do reload. It hasn't changed it yet. And I think I'm going to have to do a pre-build again. Let's just move this out of the way for now. Do a pre-build. It's good, so now I just run iOS. And now, hopefully, we're going to see it's doing the build. We notice something change. And now it's going, going. That's a good sign. Loading and voila. And if you got to this point, we're good because you have the app going on your Android physical device, and it's so far so good also with your uh, Apple iOS. And in the next tutorial, we're, what we're going to do is uh, start changing the NFC uh, into the NFC and that's why we're going to start using tags but we're going to be doing that in the next tutorial this is the end of this tutorial if you like this tutorial please click the like box subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time with another tutorial take care